Good morning, my students. Today we're going to have a new lesson in primary four, which is approximate to the nearest unit or to the nearest hole. But first, we're going to revise about the conversion of some units. So first, the units of length to convert from kilometer to meter, we multiply by 1,000. And from meter to decimeter, we multiply by 10. From decimeter to centimeter, we multiply also by 10. And from centimeter to millimeter, we also multiply by 10. And to convert from meter directly to centimeter, you have to multiply two times 10 by 10. So it's gonna be multiplication by 100. So to convert from meter to centimeter, you have to multiply by 100. So if you want to convert inversely from millimeter to centimeter, you have to make a division by 10. From centimeter to, mil to decimeter divided by 10. And from decimeter to meter, you have to divide by 10. And from meter to kilometer, you have to divide it by 1,000. And also, if you want to convert from centimeter back to meter, you have to divide by 100. The units of area. The units of area are nearly equal to the units of length, but we have kilometer square, meter square, decimeter square, and centimeter square, and also millimeter square. To convert from kilometer square to meter square, that was taken by 1000, so you have to multiply it 1000 and another 1000, so it will be 1 million. From meter to decimeter, we was multiplying by 10, so we here multiply by 100. From decimeter square to centimeter square, from only decimeter to centimeter, we multiply by 10, but when squared, we multiply by 100. From centimeter to millimeter square, so we multiply also by 100. To make the inverse from millimeter to centimeter, you have to divide by 100. And centimeter to decimeter square, you have to divide it by 100. And here also divided by 100. And here we have to divide by 1 million. So this is the units of length and this is the units of area. Now let's move on to another kind of units, which are the units of money. We have two units of money, which is LE or bound and piaster or BT. From LE to piaster, from bound to piaster, you have to multiply by 100. And from piaster to bound, you have to divide by 100. Another kind of units, which is the units of weight. So the units of weight that we have taken before was kilogram and grams. So to convert from kilogram to gram, you just multiply by 1000. And to convert from gram up to kilogram, you have to divide by 1000. The last units that we have, the units of time, you know that the months have approximately four weeks and the week contains seven days. And if you want to convert from day back to week, you have to divide by seven. And from week back to month, you have to divide it by four. You will take another kind of units for the weight and for the time in uh, primary four, but not in this lesson. So let's take our main topic today, which is approximate to the nearest unit or approximate to the nearest hole. The first example is in booklet page 40. This is exercise number four. As we know from the last video, that if you want to approximate to a certain place or a certain digit, we just circle this certain digit. Now we approximate to the nearest unit, so we have to to have to circle the digit which represents the unit digit and underline the next digit. If the numbers was 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, this is the underlined digits. If the underlined digit is this number, so we're not going to increase the unit digit. But if the numbers are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, this is the underlined digits. So we're going to increase 8 by 1, or the, we're going to increase the unit digit by 1. Let's see. Now we have 8, which is the unit digit, and we underline the number 3, which is the following digit. And the following digit is a number less than 5. So this number will be changed with 0, 
and eight is not going to be increased because if you have a numbers from zero up to four, this is a poor numbers, but you, if you have a numbers from five up to nine, this is a rich or a strong numbers. So this three is turned into zero and eight is not going to be increased, so it will be eight and the previous digit is five. Another example, we have to circle the unit and remember always that the unit is always before the point. So the unit digit always before the unit, we circle the unit digit and underline the following digit, which is six. So six, is it poor or rich? Six, is it poor or rich? We know that six is a rich number, so this six is gonna be changed and the following digit also is gonna be changed into zeros and this six is rich, it's gonna increase zero by one. So zero plus one equal one. When you approximate, you have to cancel any zeros after the decimal points if there is no other numbers. So we have point zero, so this is approximately equal 58 because when it comes in a choose, he not gonna give you this number. He not gonna give you 58.0. No, he just will say 58. Also here, if we have a point and there is zeros, so we can cancel these zeros. So this is approximately equal one. Let's move on to another example in our student book, page 39. And we also want to approximate to the nearest hole or to the nearest unit. So first we have to circle the unit digit. And as you know, that the unit is always before the point. So the unit digit here is this zero. And underline the following digit, which is one. So the underlying digit will always turn it into zero. And let's see if this underlying digit is a poor or rich number. As you know, that one is a poor number, so this one is turned into zero, and it's not gonna increase the circle to digit, so it's still zero and one. So this is approximately equal 10, that's correct. The following example, we will circle the digit three, which is in the units because it's the number three is before the point, so this is the unit digit, and underline the following digit. The following digit will always turn it into zero, and three, we will ask ourselves if three is gonna be increased or not. So our underlying digit is five, and five is a rich number, so this three is gonna be increased by one, so after three we will write four, and we have five. So the answer is 50, Four, we can cancel point zero. The next example, we have 624 and 900. So we're gonna circle the unit digit. The unit digit is always before the point, so we're gonna circle the number four and underline the following digit, which is zero. As you know that zero is a poor number, so this zero and nine is gonna turn it into zeros and four is not gonna be increased, so it's still four, and we have two and six. So this is approximately equal 624. The following example, we will circle the digit seven and underline the following digit. This seven is the unit digit, and all the underlined digit, or the following digit, is gonna turn it into zero, so I have point zero, zero, zero. And this seven is not gonna be increased because four is a poor number, so it's still seven. So the answer is approximately equal seven. We can cancel point zero, zero, zero. The next question, we have 600 point 600 one thousandth. So we're gonna circle the unit digit and underline the following digit. So all the following digit has always turned into zeros. And this six is a big number or a strong number, so it's gonna increase this zero by one. So the answer is one, and we have zero and six. So the answer is approximately equal 601. Here, we have the digit three in the unit digit and underline the following digits. All of these numbers is gonna be zeros. So the answer is gonna be 253.000 and we can cancel the decimal point and the zeros after it. So the answer is gonna be 253. The next number, we have to change this 
mixed number first into a decimal number, then we're gonna approximate. So these numbers can be written as 135.7 tenths, because seven over 10 is written as 0.7. Because as we know, if you have a number divided by 10, so this number is going to be in the 10th digit. So now we're going to circle the unit digit, which is 5, and underline the following digit. So the following digit is a strong number, so this 5 is going to increase by 1, and this will be turned into 0. So the answer is 136. So the next example, we have... 204 and 3 fifths. So we have to change this mixed number into a decimal number. So the frame of 5 is 2, so we have to multiply by 2 up and down. So this is going to be equal to 6, and this 5 by 2 is going to be 10. So now we have 6 over 10. So we can write 204, and 6 over 10 is written as 0.6. So now we approximate to the nearest unit, and the unit is always before, yes, the point. So we circle the number 4 and underline the following digit. The following digit is 6, and it is a strong number, so it will be turned into 0 and increased 4 by, yes, 1. So the answer is going to be 205. The next one. We have 967 and a quarter, so we have to change this first into a decimal point. So we multiply 4 by 25 and multiply also numerator by 25. So it's going to be 967 and 25 over 4 by the 25 is 100. So this can be written as 967 and 25 hundredths. Now we have to approximate to the nearest unit. So we're going to circle the unit which is always before the point and underline the following digit. This 2 is a weak number so it's going to turn it into 0 and this 5 also going to turn it into 0. So the number 7 is not going to be increased, so this is approximately equal 967. So our answer is 967. Let's solve some questions in our booklet. We're going to solve page number 50, uh, 41. And the question says choose the correct answer. So we're going to do the operation and see what's the answer in our choose. So we have 25.49 and we want to approximate to the nearest unit. So the unit digit is the digit before the point. So we circle the digit 5 and underline the following digit, which is 4. The following numbers will be turned into 0 and 0 after decimal point has no meaning. So we're going to just see if the underlying digit is going to increase 5 or not. 4 is a small number or a poor number, so 5 is not going to be increased, so our answer is approximately equal 25, so we have to circle the answer 25. The following question, we have 78.122 and approximate to the nearest unit, the unit is the digit 8 and the following number is 1. So 1 is not going to increase 8, so our answer will be 78, because 8 will not going to be increased. Now we have 14.6, so we circle the number 4 in the unit digit and underline the digit 6. 6 is a strong number, so it will again increase 4 by 1, so this 4 is going to be 5. And we have 1, so our answer is 15. We're going to circle 15. The following number is 158, so we're going to circle 8 and underline the following digit, which is 3. And 3 is a poor number, so it's not going to help the 8, so the number is still 158. The following example is 0 0.947. The unit digit here is 0, and the following number is 9. All the following numbers will turn it into, yes, zeros. And we have a decimal point. This 9 is a strong number, so it increases the 0 by 1. So 0 plus 1 equal 1. If I'm having a number like this, 1.000, the 0 after decimal point has no meaning, so the answer is 1. The following example, we have 
25,514.7 tenths. So we're going to circle the digit 4 and underline the following digit. This following digit is 7 and it will be cancelled and turn it into 0. And because 7 is a greater number, it will increase 4 by 1. So the answer is 25,515. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I just approximated to the nearest units. We have to approximate to the nearest thousand. I'm sorry. I'm going to answer it here again. So we have the number 25 and 514.7. Here is unit 1000 and here is the thousand digits. So we circle the thousand digit and underline the unit as the following digit. So... Five is a bigger number. It will increase this five by one, and all the following digits are turned into zeros. So five plus one equals six, and we have the number two. So our answer is twenty-six thousand. And point zero has no meaning. We can cancel it. So our answer is twenty-six thousand. The following number is 999.9. .9. Let me first check. Yes, approximate to the nearest unit. And the unit here is the 9 before the point. And the following digit is 9. Because the following digit is 9, it's going to turn it into 0 and increase this 9 by 1. So 9 plus 1 equals 10. We put 0 and carry up 1. Also 9 plus 1 equals 10, so we put 0 and carry up 1. 9 plus 1 equals 10, so we put 0, there is no other digit, and we put 1. So the answer is 1000. So question number H, the number 254 is approximated is approximation of what to the nearest unit. So what is the number? If approximated to the nearest unit, the answer will be 254. Let's check. If this 4 approximated, because 4 here is, a, is in the unit digit, so if we circle the number 4 and underline 6, so 6 is going to turn this 4 into 5, and we want 254, not 255. If we circle the unit digit here and underline the following digit, this one is not going to help 3, so the answer is 253, and we want 254. But this number, if we circle the unit digit and underline the following digit, this 9 is going to turn it into 0 and increase this 3 by 1. So our answer is 254. So we have to choose this number. So 254 is approximation of 253.9. A most, the most important question in our lessons is to approximate to the nearest unit or to the nearest meter or to the nearest uh, kilogram, to the nearest gram, to the nearest uh, pound, to the nearest piaster. So you have to check first if the unit is the same. So if you have the same unit, you just approximate this number to the nearest unit. But if the unit is different, like in number J, you have centimeter and he needed you to approximate to the nearest meter. So you have to change to the same units. You have to make the two numbers having the same unit. Let's, let's first see number I. We have 97.75 meter, and he wants to approximate to the nearest meter. That means that he wants how exactly or how approximately this number is how many meters. So this is means we approximate to the nearest unit. So we circle the digit 7 and underline the following unit, which is also 7. So this underlying digit is going to turn it into zeros and the 7 is going to be increased by 1 because the underlying digit is a strong number. So this number is approximately equal 98. So we're going to circle 98. Here, this question is going to have a mistake. You just have to turn this into centimeter. So we have the same unit. So we just approximate it to the nearest unit or to the nearest hole. So the number 8 is a big number or a strong number. So it's going to increase this one by 
another one. So the answer is going to be 32. And these underlined numbers will going to turn into zeros. So the answer is 32. Here we want to approximate to the nearest unit. So the unit digit is 6 and the following digit is 9. So this 6 is going to be increased into 7 because 9 is a strong number and this 9 is going to turn it into 0 so no, we're not going to write point 0. So the answer is 7. This question we have 9139 divided by 1000. So we first make the division. So to make division by 1000 you just move the decimal point three decimal places. Here is 1, 2, 3. So the answer is 9. 0.139. Now the digit units we approximate to the nearest unit so the unit digit is 9 and the following number is 1 so this 9 is not going to be increased because this one this underlined digit is a weak number so 9 is still as it is and all the following digits will turn it into zeros so we're going to choose 9. Now we finished our lesson don't forget your homework your homework is going to be in page 40 and in page 40 exercise number one two three and in page 41 the whole 